many senses, uh, the model United Nations is also a skilling exercise. You are uh, skilling uh, students in the art of compromise, in the art of discussion, debate, understanding the issues. The art of public speaking is very underappreciated. I think that should change. Uh, children must be must not only be given the opportunity, but must be actually tasked with you know speaking in front of their peers, developing the confidence to face a you know, face an audience, not have stage fright. So public speaking itself, I think, is a very important skill that Model United Nations teaches uh, students. I came here, I think I expected to see something very organized, but I really did not expect the scale. Uh, the scale, the order, the large number and variety of students, the um, high level of speakers, the participants, it's uh, very exciting and I really wish you best of luck. If I have to give only one advice to anybody in this world, I keep saying be a good listener. When you become a good listener, you become the consumer of great thoughts. Those thoughts can make you a better person. Certainly the value of uh, tolerance, uh, the value of harmony, uh, these are also values that the model UN teaches. Because you know, it throws students from diverse social backgrounds, diverse academic backgrounds, diverse uh, country profiles into one room where they have to debate and discuss and collaborate and cooperate and uh, you know all these things uh, then matter. The thing I really enjoy about Model UN is that it really gets delegates a chance to kind of come to consensus and uh, really think about how they as people can come together to solve some of the world's most pressing issues. It's really a tremendous experience. I think something that's uh, always been fantastic about international conferences in particular is uh, not only do you get to you know, travel the world, but you really get to experience a new part of the world by experiencing its people. You can gain just as much from you know, visiting all the touristy sites and eating the food as you can from having conversations with people, understanding where it is uh, that they come from and what's important to them. Um, it's something I always enjoyed about doing Model UN as a fundamentally social activity. The lovely feeling you get when you see someone from across the room, you make eye contact and you're like, Hello! And so you run across the room, you give them a nice big hug so you haven't seen them for a while, and it's just a great feeling of companionship. I mean, at least at this conference, I made so many spectacular friends. They were talking to me about Indian culture, and just, we laughed so much together. I never knew I could laugh this much in such a short period of time. It was one of those times where you laugh so much, it hurts, but it's just one of the best feelings in the world. Molly has really helped me um, expand my horizons and really get to know not only delegates from all over the world, but um, experience other cultures. But it's been an incredibly enriching experience. And you also have, um, take the time to have more delegate-centric events, which are not necessarily part of most Mali UN conferences. Um, one event that I always look forward to every year is H1 India's Got Talent. Every single student across the world should attend this Howard MUN, beautifully organized, wonderfully executed, and it is intellectually very invigorating. You can never get an experience like this anywhere else in the world. My experience at H1 was absolutely phenomenal and I know for a fact I'm going to come here next year again.